Welcome, this is Richard with HighPerformanceHVAC.com. Uh, today we're going to uh, do a versus video um, and show you a little bit of additions to the site. Um, <clears throat> this is our homepage, uh, and we have a new addition that we just added. These are BTU calculators. We have calculators for various things in HVAC that will um help you understand uh things better such as uh, calculating the number of btus from your gas bill you can take your gas bill and enter the uh, number the amount of gas that you purchased on your last gas bill and it will give you automatically how many btus you used um you can use this to measure uh how many BTUs, BTUs your system uses from one year to the next. Of course, it has a lot to do with uh, your house and uh, if you windows and doors and, and how well insulated your house is. As to the number of BTUs that you need, it also depends on gas appliances, like if you have a gas water heater or whatever. Um, anyhow, okay, let's get into it. First, we're going to navigate to buyer's advice. And this is a category where we have uh, several articles um, that will help you understand more about HVAC. One of our best articles where we get a lot of traffic is the Buyer's Advice Guide, um, the Consumer's Buyer's Guide, to help you in the purchasing of a new system. Um, today, we're going to go over carrier versus Linux gas furnaces. Um, you see we have our um, uh, social media buttons here. We appreciate you sharing that with us. And uh, as some of the other videos that you may see in this category for versus, uh, they have these robotic um, type of videos. And uh, here you get me which i'm not a robot so uh you won't get that robotic voice um carrier versus linux gas furnaces i would say that um, both of these systems have pretty decent efficiency levels uh with i think linux uh being the premium model carrier is not so bad um compared to linux but uh linux is going to be the higher price Kind of like um, uh, a good analogy would be buying a Cadillac and then buying a higher end um, sedan uh, with the carrier being the higher end sedan and the Linux being the Cadillac, the premium luxury. Um, Linux has it together as far as that's concerned. Their units look good. Um, I'm not biased towards any brand because I know that the brands work for everybody. But anyhow, um, I would, if I had the choice myself, I would probably select a Linux over a carrier. But again, that's just an opinion. Do your research. And again, for me, it wouldn't be brands. Um, you know, one versus the other. It would be the contractor how well the contractor is as far as reliability, proper installation. A lot of it uh, comes into play with the contractor and installing the system in the first place. Um, that's going to be a big difference in whether the unit uh, gives you good service for years or whether you have problems with it all the time. Um, so please follow that advice. Uh, here we do a side-by-side -side, uh, comparison in our table here. Between Carrier and Linux gas furnaces, we took their top models and we put we put it in this category for side by side comparison. And you can see the they both are modulating, um, and they modulate from forty percent to one hundred percent. Top rated AFU that goes to Linux, um, although point two is not very uh, much more efficient. Um, it is better, but it's not that 
better. Um, they both have variable speed blowers. Um, the ignition uh, method is is pretty close to the same. That both hot surface ignition. Um, they use um, that you can get them in dual fuel uh, compatibility options, and that means uh, basically uh, you can have a heat pump condenser installed. And then have one of these gas furnaces installed uh, for the air handler, and uh, that will be your backup heat. Rather than having a heat pump installed with uh, electric heat, you can have the gas heat, which some people prefer. And I think it's a step up from electric heat because uh, of the values in uh, heating, whereas uh, it's going to be in the long term. Uh, a little bit cheaper for you to heat with the gas than it is with the electric heat, uh, the electric heat strips. Um, that's usually very expensive to operate with. Uh, gas furnace backup heat is is uh, it's good heat. It's very good heat. Um, heat exchangers, uh, Energy Star ratings, um, the warranties on the heat exchangers, they're pretty close to the same. All the rest of their stuff is is uh, pretty much the same. Um, extended warranties, we always recommend to our readers or site visitors that they get the extended warranty and try to get a labor warranty in with that. Um, this way, if anything goes wrong, since these are top-of-the-line uh, models, um, if anything goes wrong, it can it can uh, take a while to troubleshoot uh, in some cases, and uh, we recommend you get a labor warranty. So uh, you don't have to pay for labor or parts. Uh, most warranties in HVAC, when you buy new equipment, it only comes with parts only. Uh, it's a limited warranty. So uh, you want to check to see if they have a labor warranty that will go with it. It's going to cost you more because you have to purchase that as an add-on but um all the customers i've ever dealt with that had these parts and labor warranties they were very happy with their system they uh, didn't worry about uh having to pay you know to have something fixed especially one of these top of the line models uh you know if you have something go bad it can be more expensive to re to repair and take longer time to repair so you don't have to worry about that if you get the labor warranty. Um, continuing on down, we do this. Uh, this little, this is completely opinion based, um, based on my opinion from working in the field. Uh, and then we have a chart here on between Carrier and Linux, uh, between their baseline models, which both are 80 per, 80 percent AFU in. That's pretty much a government mandated thing where no manufacturer can produce any gas furnace that gets less than 80% AFU in any region in the country. And then comparing their top of the line models uh, on the chart just shows you the difference between the efficiency levels from their base models to their premium models. And then you got other furnaces that fall in between that we didn't list because the chart would have been too big to fit on the page. Um, anyhow, you go on down, you read all the way down to the conclusion and what we have to offer. And we included a calculator on this page also. Um, but anyhow, that's our comparison. If you go to our site, highperformancehvac.com, it's in the buyer's advice category. So you can compare the two and read my technical analysis of both systems. Um, I am a licensed HVAC master and I've worked on these systems. Uh, lots of field experience. I have uh, friends who are contractors. I have friends who are technicians and I pretty much got an inside view of different brands and things that go wrong. And So you can read all about it at my site, highperformancehvac.com. Thank you for visiting, and please share us on social media. Have a good day.